Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be modeling walls and openings in 3ds Max and we're going to be using an AutoCAD DWG as a template. So let's start off by importing an AutoCAD drawing. We're going to link it. So select our DWG and 3ds Max gives us the option to include or um, disclude layers so we want to select all of our layers here in import so now we have effectively an, an xref of our AutoCAD DWG and we now want to create some geometry so we'll start with adding a spline or line and we need to ensure snapping is enabled so check that go in and select all the lines and the internal elements of the building and we do not want to close this spline so click no We then want to extrude our line up, in this case, 2.7 meters. And here we can see an extrude modifier. We can then sort of change that input. Let's make that 2700. We can also increase the number of segments, but let's just leave that to one. Now we'll have a new modifier to the stack, this time edit poly, and this will then enable us to edit this extrusion. We can select the edge, the vertices, the border, or ring. We can select individual faces or the entire element. The third modifier we're going to use is Shell. This will provide our extrusion with a thickness that we can turn on or off at the top of our modifier stack. With Shell turned off, we can then go back to our Edit Poly and we can start to connect some geometry to form the openings. With Move, or W as a shortcut key, we can then enter the height coordinate on the Z axis here. We zero that out and type in 2100 for the opening height. We can then select that polygon face and delete it. And watch when we apply our shell modifier, we have then created an opening for the door. Now let's have a look at this opening for the window. So the same process, select our edges, and this time we want to connect two lines, one for the sill and one for the top of the window. So connect two lines, enter the sill height, Click enter. Sorry, enter the sill height now and the top of the window. And again, with that face selected, we can delete it. And we have our window opening. It's important to ensure that the geometry is clean. Um, so you'll see here on the end of our wall here, we have a little issue where they're not meeting up. So what we can do is, let's detach that side of the wall. If we go down to detach, and we want to detach that as an element.
Okay, with that wall detached, we can then fix, go in and fix that problem where the shell was causing a little issue for us. Now, if we drag the end of each wall out by 100 millimeters, so by selecting the edge, zeroing it, and entering 100 and negative 100. It will then provide extra surface for that shell to wrap around. And you'll see it's cleaned up that edge there. This is uh, can be a common occurrence when using the shell tool, so just keep in mind that you can always detach. Thank you for watching.